dum dum. Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to the Tiffany Luann channel. This video it was kind of inspired by what I was doing last night, which was Thursday night. I was pretty much on my iPhone, which if you don't know, I have an iPhone now. I have this app called Art Studio. Now I do have a what's on my iPhone video, so that will be linked up on the i. That's if you want to go and check that out. But um, I have this app that I've known for a while. It's called Art Studio. And I was actually, believe it or not, making wallpapers with it. Believe it or not, I actually make wallpapers like for your phone or whatnot. The one that I made last night, I did post on my Facebook page for this channel, which is facebook.com slash Tiffany Luann on YouTube. So if you want kind of behind the scenes of my channel, go like that page because you get updates and behind the scenes stuff. If you want to go download my wallpaper that I made last night, then go to that page and go download it. So yeah. Um, and that's kind of what inspired this video is because like I just wanted to show you guys how I made it because it, you know this can help people who want to kind of do this kind of stuff on a budget like if you don't have a computer which there could be some people out there who don't I mean maybe some people are like don't have the money for like a desktop or a laptop but still want to do this kind of stuff then this video can help you because I made something that you wouldn't think could be made on a phone and I did it. It looks like this. This is also inspired by Christine. If you guys watch Simply Neological, which I do, um, she kind of is the like main point of like the holosexual like fandom which I am holosexual like holographic is life. So um, that's kind of what it's inspired by, sort of. Without further ado, there you go. So hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing this voiceover style because I thought text would be a bit too confusing and it would be just easier to do it this way. And so right now I'm just making a new canvas, which I like to make, make mine transparent because I feel like it's more of like a blank canvas opposed to like the white background. I don't know. But the, so first we're going to make the like gradient background which the first color is like a, a light blue like I always do and the and color two is like a lavender-esque color and they have a gradient tool for that and now I'm going to be doing the text which on the first line you do the word hollow and then the second word is sexual and I, sooner or later I will make the text black but I, as of now it's white I don't know why but I'm just gonna position it where I want it which is gonna be kind of in the middle where the two colors meet so it's kind of where I wanted to put it and kind of make it as big as possible but still have a bit of space on the edges to the left and right of the words so then we just need to position it how we want it and then we, we can go on to the next step And now I'm then making the text black because it's gonna, it's gonna um, give us an advantage for a future step. But now I'm going to then import a picture that I found, I think, on Google of a like um, holographic background. But you can get one that you've made or whatever you would want. But I just found this on Google, so credits to whosoever's picture this is. But it's a nice hollow background, and since it's not the size that we need it i'm gonna like scale it to make it bigger again i'm going to then scale it so that it's it it covers the whole text because as you see it does not cover the whole text right now but i'm going to make it so it does and it doesn't really matter where it is just make sure it covers the whole text and then we're going to go into the layers option and make sure the text layer is um, selective or the active layer and then we're gonna do the um, the alpha to to selection so that it it will only select the text and then we're gonna m make sure you're on the um, the background like the hollow and then you're gonna inverse that and then hit cut so that it just it looks like that And then for the text layer, the black text layer, you're going to want to, I think, rasterize it first because that's what this program makes you do or this app makes you do. 
but we're going to need to transform it and move it to the right a little bit so that you can kind of see it a little bit from behind the words and then go into the layers and go like on that layer and then make sure it's on the soft light blending mode and then it kind of makes it like um like a shadow-esque thing. I don't know what the actual term is, but it makes it like a, a shadow thing. And now we're going to go on to the white border part. So I made it a new layer where that border will be. And we're going to make, make the whole thing white with the paint bucket tool and the white color. So then we're going to kind of select and make it make like the selection like smaller a bit. So it, it makes the border sort of by five pixels. And then I'm just going to then cut what is ever is inside that selection. And then it makes a white border. And that's the finished product. So that was my video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Um, hit the thumbs up if you're holosexual. And also hit the subscribe button if you are as well. Um, also, go check out my Facebook page to get updates about my channel and stuff like that, which is, again, facebook.com slash Tiffany Luann on YouTube, or just go to Facebook itself and in the search bar, type in Tiffany Luann on YouTube, and you should find it that way as well. I hope you guys liked my video, and let me know if you want more videos like this. I don't know, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!